Welcome back to the MUFC MPB channel where today we are talking about the heavy links to Benjamin Sesko, Fabrizio Romano's confirmation of a striker coming to Manchester United and also the call up for Kwimenu to the England setup. But kicking things off is, of course, the Benjamin Sesko links. And these are absolutely massive because this isn't the first time we've been linked to the Slovenian striker. We've been linked to him for probably two or three seasons now. And this story coming out of the Academy Scoop is that Manchester United retain an interest in RB Leipzig striker Benjamin Sesko. United's existing recruitment team believe that his versatility and age make him an ideal profile to support Hoyland. Now, this is very interesting to me because I pictured us going for a slightly older striker. I'm not saying someone like Cavani, Ibrahimovic, Odi Nogalo, but maybe two or three years younger in their late 20s, early 30s. I was thinking someone like that was going to come in to come alongside and back up Hoyland. But the signing of Shesko to me says more that he's actually going to get quite a lot more minutes. And maybe that's because Hoyland's maybe back issue is worse than we think. And maybe he's playing through a lot of pain. And rather than absolutely running him into the ground, why not have two superstar young strikers that can come in and actually make a massive difference? I mean, the first comment right here is actually exactly what I mean from Arib Khan. This would really be an ideal signing. Hoyland and Sesko can push each other to greater heights. And I believe that Benjamin Sesko is actually a fantastic striker as well. I mean, he was he's got a little bit quiet in the last couple of years the bubble and the the hype has gone down a little bit but i think that is mainly because he's had a move to leipzig and he's not managed to break into that first team at a full level so maybe it's actually perfect that he will be the backup to rasmus hoyland i mean if we look at his stats here this season on uh, transfer marks he's played 23 games got seven goals and two assists but he's in the start of the 11 only 42 percent of the time has had 43 percent of the minutes at a 15 percent in goal participation i mean i think it's actually quite a cool thing to see here that maybe he he's not going to come in and expect to be an instant starter. Maybe he is going to be happy to be the sort of rotation option as Hoyland, you know, makes strides and leaps and bounds. And when Hoyland does need days off, maybe in Europe, if next year we're in Europa League, that's the perfect place for Benjamin Sesko to come in, give Hoyland that night off, get him that much needed rest, and then he comes back into the Premier League and absolutely smashes it. For me, the last thing I want to see is Hoyland like get pushed out of the team i think he is absolutely fantastic i think he understands what it's like to be a manchester united player and i do get that similar vibe for someone like benjamin sesco as well i've always been a massive fan he is six foot four so he's a big lad as well you can see here he is just 20 years of age so he's also young like Holland, which is brilliant to see as well uh big boy mainly plays as a striker i think he can play off the left and the right as well he is quite fast he is very good in front of goal and as we have to look at his fb ref stats the best thing for him is mainly as a striker his defensive sort of work rate is you know to be really admired 99 in the 99th percentile of blocks in the 90th percentile of clearances so from corners etc he is an absolute demon uh, interceptions wise in the top 31 percent tackles top 25 percent and aerials one he's in the top 38% as well. So I think that's absolutely fantastic to see that high press system, he could come in and do it. We know Leipzig play it. We know obviously Ralph Rannick is a huge fan of that Leipzig system and is someone that probably had a big part in Sesko joining the Red Bull group. And exactly that's what he does, that high press aggressive system. And Sesko is fantastic in that. In terms of non-penalty goals per 90 minutes, he's in the top 14%, which is fantastic. Non-penalty XG, the top 25%. So he's not had too many minutes. It's probably quite good that he's in that sort of high regard even though he's not playing every single minute which is absolutely brilliant and the best thing about it as well is it's not going to completely break the bank it is just 43 million pounds as a release clause this summer now for someone like benjamin seshko i think that is actually quite a bit of a bargain i think there was sort of rumors a couple of years ago when it was 18 19 before that move to leipzig that his value after that move to Leipzig, could have been around 80 to 90 million. Now, like we've said, he's not kicked on at you know a, a massive point like we expected him to, but he has still done very well. He is now a Bundesliga starting player. And for the 43 million pounds, that is pennies in this current market. I mean, we spent 80 million on Harry Maguire. Like 43 million is half of Harry Maguire. We spent 80 odd million on Rashford Hoyland, who at this point had less experience than Benjamin Sesko. So 43 million pounds is an absolute bargain. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about the signing of Ben Sesko? Do you think it's a good thing to bring someone in younger that can grow with Hoyland and they can both push each other? We've seen it with lots of players before. I mean, the right back situation with Wambasaka and Dallo having two players that are very similar sort of attributes, having them both really push each other on has put them into being two fantastic right backs. Could we do the same thing up front with Sesko and Hoyland.
I certainly think it is possible. And then the big news from Fabrizio Romano is that Manchester United will sign a striker this summer from Fabrizio himself. That's as good as a here we go. Uh, the club haven't decided yet whether to sign a young striker or an experienced one. So the signing of Benjamin Shesko or a slightly older one like Medita Remy from Porto. That's just a name come off the top of my head. That could be a very good transfer indeed. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we haven't decided what it's going to be, but a striker is going to be coming into Manchester United. Is that the end of Manchester Martial's career I think so we've obviously got that uh, one year extension which we could pull on his contract but I don't think we're going to which means we're just left with Rasmus Hoyland so a striker is an absolute must this summer I mean for Christ's sake if Martial goes it could even be we need two strikers because having two strikers now isn't enough I mean Martial and Hoyland were both injured a few weeks ago and we had to play Rashford up front which we know isn't ideal it's okay for a stopgap but it's not ideal why not train McTominay into it? He's a goal scorer machine. And uh, we're all still buzzing from that victory over Liverpool on the weekend as well. But big news from Fabrizio confirming that striker will be joining Manchester United this summer. That's from Fabrizio and JD Football. So a massive scoop there from Fabrizio. I'm very excited. I think this summer is going to be a massive one for United. I think there's going to be, you know, hopefully going to see this brand new regime come in. There could be a few signings which aren't the big boys. I mean, there's been quotes in the last few days from Sir Jim Ratcliffe that like signing Mbappe isn't in his plan finding the next Mbappe is his plan and that is exciting because that's something Manchester United have not done recently someone like Oscar Zambrano over in Ecuador we've been linked to him a little bit in the last few months and then he sort of had links with players like Luton uh, Crystal Palace and Brighton exactly like what happened with Moises Caicedo we were linked to him we didn't go for it he went on to join Brighton and the rest is history he signed for Chelsea for £105 million so signing someone like Oscar Zambrano for £5 million I think that is going to be the sort of play we go down in in the future which I am really hopeful we do because there's a massive thing if we can get that bit right we can turn into one of the best clubs in the world yet again and the final piece of news I want to touch on today is Kobe Mainu has had that call up to the England squads Gareth Southgate obviously was very impressed by his performance against Liverpool for me I think that that performance from Mainu there was exactly what people haven't seen about him I think a lot of people understand the hype from us Manchester United fans. We seem to hype up youngsters a hell of a lot. But that performance against Liverpool was sort of him putting himself on the world stage. Like, look what I can do. I know everyone is watching this game and this is the player that I am. He's got unbelievable technicals. That double dribble past the Liverpool defenders was simply fantastic. His composure is unlike no other I've ever seen from an 18 year old he's played 15 first team appearances and here he is called up to the England squad and speaking to Gareth Southgate I think that performance was absolutely huge and I think now people aren't you know there was that whole thing of Chris MD with the keep sell and bench with um it was Connor Bradley I think it was Cole Palmer possibly and uh Kobe Mainu, and he, he sold Kobe Mainu. he was the bottom of the three which is absolutely outrageous I mean whoever you're gonna put if it, it might not have been Cole Palmer but whoever it was Kobe uh, Mainu deserves to be at the top of any wonder kid list in the Premier League right now. He is simply fantastic. And I think people, not just Manchester United fans, are realising the talent we have got on our hands. So just quickly to touch on things, Benjamin Sesko looking to join Manchester United. It's heavily linked. Manchester United retain an interest in the RB Leipzig striker, Benjamin Sesko. United's existing recruitment team believe his versatility and age make him an ideal profile to support Hoyland. He has a release clause of just £43 million, which is an absolute bargain for a Bundesliga quality striker and something I think we should certainly be looking into. And Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Manchester United will sign a striker this summer. The club haven't decided whether to go younger or older with an experienced striker, but a striker is coming to Manchester United and Kobe Mainu is in the England set. I'm excited to see him boss Brazil. Uh, hopefully he gets some minutes against Brazil and Belgium as well. That'll be fantastic. Make sure you are liking the video, keep it locked onto the channel and also on Twitter for all the latest Manchester United news. Make sure you should follow in at MUFC MPB and follow myself Ken BXI as well. My links will be down below. I post football manager videos and I talk about United all the time on Twitter and annoy lots of Liverpool fans. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time.